It's 1822. <laughs> My name is Gregor MacGregor. Welcome to Poye, a small country near Honduras. This place has everything. Fertile land, fish and game, oh, yeah. a democratic government, a burgeoning business district, even gold in the rivers. The only thing we don't have is you. We need investors and settlers. Buy now, and I guarantee you'll make your money back. Or my name's not Gregor McGregor. <laughs> I'll take four. Wait, something's not right. Is this someone else's land? Worse, it doesn't even exist. There were no buildings or roads, no arable land. The whole region was inhospitable, untamed jungle. That makes sense. Gregor McGregor is one fake ass name. Uh, actually, that part is real. Really? Shit. McGregor just had to make the land look real to sell it. <laughs> he made fake illustrations of the scenery, fake government documents, and printed fake currency. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He designed a flag and military uniforms. He even composed fake Poye and ballads and had them sung in the streets of London. Poye! <laughs> that sounds like so much work. It paid off. He sold land to hundreds, got a 2,000 pound loan, and traded Poye and bonds worth billions in today's money. He even convinced seven ships worth of people to settle the land while he stayed safely back home. Thanks for visiting. Eat shit. He seems nice. The settlers thought so too. McGregor was so charismatic and his lies so enormous that even after they arrived, they refused to believe that they had been tricked. Cool, 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 cool. I'm sure there's an explanation. Definitely. Then the captain of the ship left without telling anyone. Cool, 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 cool. cool, cool. cool. Then came the rainy season. People caught malaria and yellow fever. Cool. One person shot himself in despair. Cool. After six months, someone from British Honduras arrived and told them that Poye didn't exist. Cool. 250 people left for Poye. At least 180 died. To this day, the region is uninhabited wilderness. Well, what happened to McGregor? Nothing. The survivors blamed the expedition leaders and publicists. McGregor was tried for fraud, but acquitted. He lived comfortably in Venezuela for the rest of his life. Bummer. See, even if your lie harms people, you don't need to be punished. He should have been punished, and you should be too. Remember that hyena birth? Your lie meant we had to see disgusting horror. You thought that was disgusting. <laughs> Wait till you see what's next. If you like that episode of WTF 101, I have good news. There's way more of it on Dropout. Ooh, tell me more. Well, Dropout is a new premium, ad-free, and uncensored comedy platform from College Humor. Where do we sign up? Just go to dropout.tv and start your free trial today. Free trial? But we want to give you our money. Ho, ho! How's everyone enjoying the wondrous land of Caledonia? Oh. Yeah.